Good morning, dear students in Mushtama Private School. How are you? How's everything with you? Let's continue our lesson writing for two announcement. Our value for this week is honesty. Have a look about the four announcements in page number 32 in your student book. Read them well. Exercise G, page number 33. Read the writing task below and underline the keywords or phrases, then answer the question that follow. The question is, you are on the organizing committee for extracurricular activities at your school. Think of an after school club you would like to attend, then create an announcement for this club. Make sure to mention what activities are involved, what equipment is needed, if any, and when and where meetings take place. First of all, let's analyze the task. What is the purpose of this announcement? Think about it. Think about the purpose. And who will read this announcement? And what kind of language should you use? The purpose of the announcement is to attract students' attention and to inform them about an after-school club that they may join. Who will read the announcement? Members of the student body will be reading it. And which kind of language? The language is informal and should include stylistic features such as contractions, rhetorical questions, and exclamations. Here are some tips can help you. When you're writing an announcement, do the following. Think about the occasion and determine the level of formality before you start writing. Put the most important information first and the least important information last. Break up the information into small sections that are easy to read. Use subheadings if it helps reader to find information quickly. Include all the necessary information. Write in, write in a direct and concise manner. Make sure there are no mistakes. Use stylistic devices such as a rhetorical question, exclamations, and emotional appeals when appropriate. Your task now to read the rubric in Activity G again. Here, yeah. read the task again. Then, go to the workbook, page number 26. 27, 28, to plan and write your announcement. Open page number 26, workbook. Here is a plan. You present your own title. Announcements usually have either a title or a heading pointing out the subject. Be careful. It must be catchy title to draw the reader's attention. What about the main part? The information in an announcement is usually divided up into short sections of one or two sentences. Sometimes subheadings are used for some or all the sections, all of the sections to help the reader find information so quickly and easily as possible. For example, when and what and where, duration, like this. There, uh, there usually isn't an introduction and conclusion to an uh, announcement as such, although it is usual to put the most important information in the first section and the least important information in the final section. Now, it's your turn to plan before you complete your plan. Brainstorm clubs that the announcement should be about. What are clubs in your mind? Think about the level of formality of your announcement. We have mentioned before it can be less formal. Come up with relevant dates, location, in person, or people to contact. Order the pieces of information you will include in terms of importance, from the most important to less important. You start with the title. Just answer this question to get the title. What is the subject of your announcement? For what or about what? Subheadings like what? Subheading 1 about the information to include, like the reality of the clubs or activities. Subheading 2, also information like the duration or the time. Subheading 3, like the place. 
and submitting for like for more information how to contact with people who are responsible for these clubs. Now it's your task now to write in your own workbooks your announcement, then come back to me to compare your answers. And there is no, by the way, there is no wrong announcement or uh, right one. It's up to you. It's up to your organization. Here is suggested one. For example, Digital Artists Club. If you are thinking of pursuing photography as a hobby or as a career, the best place to start is here. We will help you to zoom in on the basics of photography. When? One day, one is day, three and four p.m. Where? The gym. Field trips to places of natural beauty will be arranged every alternate week so we can practice what we learn. So grab your camera and let's go. Here is a model. You can create your own models also. Then let's check in the classroom, inshallah. So, uh, I hope you have understood the announcement and I'm waiting for your own uh, designs and for your own announcement. Let me say goodbye to you and see you next lesson, inshallah.